So we hear a lot about autonomous driving today. Uh, that's where the car drives itself. This is different. This is remote control driving. This isn't a simulation. I'm actually driving a car 8,000 miles away in China and it's all being enabled by 5G. These are real people and this is a real car. So, you know, I can't be running them over, uh, which would obviously create problems. So the system's actually packed uh, with uh, safety features to avoid any potential collisions or incidents like that. Uh, it's really been foolproofed, which is obviously important when you've got somebody like me driving. So why do you need to be able to drive a car remotely? Well, there are lots of reasons, actually. I might be making a delivery, the road might be blocked. I need to make a human decision about how to get around. It might be a public sector application. I might uh, be driving a police car and I might want to make sure that that police car goes to a certain destination rather than taking an automated route. Where also this becomes incredibly important is in industrial applications like mining, which are very dangerous. And it would be really helpful to be able to control heavy equipment underground or overground. Uh, and that would be potentially a lifesaver. And that is actually starting to happen in many different industry verticals around the world. It's extraordinary to be driving a car 8,000 kilometers away and 5G is, is the enabler here. Latency of 17 milliseconds going up to about 49 milliseconds. That means that it's fast enough for me to control this vehicle, not particularly well, I'd have to say, uh, in China while I'm sitting here in Istanbul. It's cool, isn't it?